Hey YouTube, welcome back. We're going to pick this up again where we left off with our next episode in our Gamma Recruits uh, journey here. We're going to do the search, I believe it's called. Yes. Sit back and enjoy. Have some fun. The Founders have asked the Alliance to send an expeditionary force into the outer reaches of our territory. The Hercon is numerous there. We should be able to gather intelligence on them while we render aid to the Dominion forces in that sector. Founder Odo will be accompanying us on his flagship, along with Captain Kira aboard the Starfleet vessel Defiant. Counselor Garrick will be commanding a small Cardassian fleet as well. We will meet them in the Dosi system. Our latest intelligence has discovered a Herc presence there. Join us there as soon as possible. Okay, so on this one, Oh, we're going to be able to get our own call a freighter com code. So, cool. All right. Remember, victory is life. <laughs> You've arrived. Good. We need to stop the Herc before they attack the Dosi homeworld. The Alliance has sent ships to assist us, but we're the front line until they arrive. I hope you're ready to make a stand. Yes, Founder. Honor the Founders. Destroy the Herc. Victory is life! sucked. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. You fought well and honored the founders with your efforts. Take this opportunity to learn what you can about the Herc. As the Vorta are fond of saying, knowledge is power. Any tactical intel you gather here will be of use to all who stand against the enemy. Consider this your next test. Victory is life. Victory is life. You know, I am finding that there have been some challenges to starting a character at level 20, or sorry, level 60. Uh, that there's, you know, you don't have the gear that you need to really compete at this level, even in a cruiser finding myself to be a bit squishy here and I'm resisting the urge I have about 200 Phoenix upgrades I'm resisting the urge to use them because we have a uh, uh, upgrade weekend coming up this planet appears to have been abandoned some time ago no life signs detected 
Sensors indicate an extensive network of defunct mines. I'm reading residual levels of dilithium, topoline, chemocyte, and several components used in the production of the white. This world is of no tactical or economic value to the founders. I see little reason for the Herc to attack it, and yet, riddles may amuse the Vorta, but I prefer truth and action. Wait, I'm reading more Herc and Bound. Joy. Now here's a little tip. When you have a uh, dialogue box like that open and you're not quite ready for the engagement, don't click continue. <laughs> For me, I'm waiting to launch my other fighter. Once I get my other fighter launched, then I'll go ahead and engage. And I want to equip another stack of batteries, too. And we'll put those in here on my tray. All right. This planet appears to have been abandoned. Now, some they're stations. going for the station. What are they after? Warning. Ship is under attack. We should scan the station once we're done with the Resources in several storage areas, but there's nothing of note here, unless the Herc are driven solely to consume an assortment of minerals. <laughs> this is a very interesting place, in that it's completely uninteresting to everyone but the Herc. I don't think the answers we're looking for are here. Isn't it weird to see Kira in a Starfleet uniform? I mean, it. Yeah, you know, I, I get it. It shows a progression, you know. Of, Bajor and, and the Federation and all that stuff, but still, um, Captain Kira, kind of weird. Uh, don't go to warp just yet. We're picking up a distress signal over here. You should take a look. I'll check. like it's a Ferengi signal of uncertain origin coming from the Karema system. Hmm. I seem to recall Quark mentioning some business with the Karemans recently. <laughs> this can't be a coincidence. We should look into this. Quark might have bitten off more than he can chew again. Is that really a good use of our time? The Karemans are very resourceful. They design a considerable number of weapons and defense systems for the Dominion. I'm confident they can deal with the Herc on their own. As for Quark, he's quite capable of getting himself out of trouble. Trouble, I might add, that he had no business getting into in the first place. I must say, Ambassador, I'm shocked. I know Quark's a gambler, but I never realized you were as well. Karema is a part of the Dominion, and an important one at that. Is losing their tactical and technological resources to the Herc wise? Very well. Since I can see there's no talking you out of this, I'll accompany you to Karema. We're ready to go warp when you are. Let's get this over with. Where did all these ships come from? <laughs> and here we are, the Karema system. Let's address Garrick's concerns, find out what Quark needs, and deal with it. I live to serve the Founders. Far be it for me to question the word of a Founder, but that is a very large Dominion fleet I'm reading on sensors. I only mention it because 
We were led to believe Odo's fleet was the last. I trust there's a reasonable explanation for this miscommunication. Garrick, the Dominion flagship is hailing us. Your presence is not required here. Explain yourself. <laughs> Apologies, Founder. It's not our intent to cause trouble, Founder. We followed a distress signal from our good friend Quark, and we take the lives of our friends very seriously. I am curious about your presence here and the large number of Jem Hadar vessels accompanying you. You see, Odo told us that his fleet was the only one left to defend the Dominion. That clearly isn't the case. As are we. Karema is part of the Dominion. We are here to assist them, if they wish it. Yes, Founder. Odo commands an expeditionary fleet. It is his to use in a mission to seek and destroy the Herc as he sees fit. My fleet is a defense fleet. It seems the distinction was not made clear to you. How unfortunate. If you don't mind, we would still like to enter Karemin space and assist our good friend in his hour of need. Surely. That would be acceptable, yes? I will take responsibility for their actions in Karemin space. One of our operatives requires immediate extraction. You're quite persistent, aren't you? Very well. In the spirit of our newfound pact with the Alliance, I will allow you to proceed, albeit at your own risk. Exercise caution, Odo. It would be tragic for you to come so far, only to end it all here over Karima. Thank you, Founder. It seems we're not getting the whole story here. So, business as usual. Exactly, Captain. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to assist these transports. Those Neckard assemblies are pretty tough ships. Keep trying. My sensors are showing a broad band of interference in the area. It's jamming the standard Karemin hailing frequencies. Might I suggest giving them a new 
more secure frequency to use for communications. I'll send them a new frequency. Hello, can you hear me? We need help and fast. Most of our planetary defense lines are in danger of being overrun by the Herc. We tried to evacuate, but the Jim'Hadar fleet opened fire on our ships when they broke orbit. We're trapped. You must be mistaken, Karimin. Combat is notoriously chaotic. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for that. One best pursued after we find Quark and help the Karemans. Yeah, I find it really odd that the female changeling has been lying to Odo. She seemed awful cold to him. As you say, Founder. Hmm, I wonder. Ah, yes. We should try to find Quark soon. It's quite possible he's the only Ferengi on the planet. A deep-range sensor scan should locate him. We'll scan for Ferengi life signs. Took a few scans, but I've found one Ferengi life sign. It's surrounded by a handful of Karema and a large number of Herc. There's a lot of interference in that area, so we can't get a transporter lock on him at this time. Can we hail them? Finally. Coming, Quark. We need to get Quark out quickly before he has an encounter with the Herc of the Fatal Variety. Let's go down together while Captain Kira and the Ambassador cover our ships in orbit. We'll have to beam down outside of Quark's location. I suggest bringing some pattern enhancers along. We may need them to beam out once we find him. So Garrick's doing something shady too. That's why he was insisting on helping out Quark. Can't we all just get We're along? about as close to Quark's last known location as we can get with transporters. I'm afraid we'll have to make the rest of the journey the old-fashioned way. Shall we? Let's go, Counselor. Quark's life sign is near here. Let's try to find a way in. I'm guessing we follow the path. How convenient. We've found a hidden path. Let's have a look. Interesting. The metal in the walls here completely scatters my sensors. Ah, more hurt. It seems we're in the right place. Lockbox. My tricorder shows a Ferengi life sign beyond that rather secure door. Unfortunately, the Karemin security system is beyond me. Given time, I could crack it, but we're running low on that commodity. There are a number of Karemin life signs nearby, however. One of them might be able to help us reach Quark. Understood. Am I glad to see you? 
Thought for sure we'd be safe from those things down here. Caves do a number on sensors and transporters. But that didn't slow them down much. Filthy creatures. If you don't mind my asking, why are you here? You're not with Karim in defense. Are you mercenaries? Private security? No, we're looking for a Ferengi. That'd be Quark, then. Only Ferengi around here that I know of, anyway. He's in a secure vault, not far from here, with another VIP. Look, I owe you my life, but I don't have the code to get to Quark. There are others nearby. One of them should have it. Help them, and I'll make sure they open the door for you. I swear it. Very well. Garrick ain't wasting any time. I think the devs did a good job with him. Making him look the door's really right true there. To I'll stay here while you save everyone. Thanks for the timely rescue. I uh, don't suppose you'd be willing to turn a blind eye to all the contraband you've seen down here? Um, it'd save me the trouble of shooting you later. Excuse me? <laughs> kidding. I was kidding. You know, humor. Do they have that on your planet? <clears throat> anyway, um, you're uh, clearly not Karemin police, so what brings you down here? Looking for a Ferengi named Quark. Oh, Quark, yeah. I know him. Little guy. Big ears, flashy dresser. I hear he owns a moon. And we locked him up in a secure room when the shooting started. Big spender like that should be kept safe. Tell you what, help us out with all these nerks, gurks, I mean, whatever you call them. Help us, and I'll help you. Deal? Deal. Doesn't seem like the gem had our way to make a deal, but okay. The other Dominion ships just left the system. We're on our own. I was gonna get eaten by one of those things. Can't say I like that idea much, so, uh, thanks, whoever you are. You're not police or military, or Kremen military anyway. What brought you down here to the middle of hell? We're looking for a Ferengi. Oh, him. Think I saw my brother and some of his men hustle the little grifter into a vault. Those monsters got him. Yeah. Good luck getting him out of there. Wait, that, that was rude. You just saved my life. Let me return the favor. One of my brother's people should be able to open the door for you. Find them, and you're all set. We've helped the rest. Let's go get Quark. Waiting here would be best. The outer world is still a mess. 
And here we all are, alive and kicking. Wonderful. We had a deal, and I'm not about to back out on it, especially since you're all so well-armed and cranky. Not the kind of people I want to cross. Yeah, that can't be good. Door's open. You'd better get a move on. Your pal sounds a little stressed. When's he not? Ah! Oh snap, what is that? Kinda of makes me wish I had a graviton spike. Put that on the list of things to do this summer. Get over here, Wayun. Help me up. It's good to see you too, Quark. I see your mission was a successful one as well. Yes, Garrick, I found your mysterious widget. What is it exactly? It's not Karemin Tech. They found it a few days before I got here. I haven't had a lot of time to analyze it, thanks to the Herc. I see. Thank you, Quark. This narrows things down considerably. It does. Good. That makes it more valuable. Indeed it does, my friend. Indeed it does. Huh. Okay. Spill it, Garrett. It would appear that the Herc burrowed this way to bypass the doors above. And unlike most burrowing creatures, the Herc actually ate their way through the ground. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Not the Liberator as I was expecting, but thank you nonetheless. I'm First Minister Bakelba. Our situation has gone from bad to worse, and we have the Dominion to thank for it. In what way? Those of us on the edge of the Dominion were abandoned when the invasion began. In light of that, we voted to secede, to truly stand alone. The Dominion stood by while the Herc attacked us. We held off the invasion for a while, but their numbers are great. When we asked for aid, the Dominion refused. When we tried to evacuate, their fleet opened fire. They mean to punish us for our defiance. The Founders do not value Rebellion. Well, First Minister, it looks like my distress call was heard. We're saved. Thank you. 
Looks like your reputation for getting things done is well deserved. Yeah, you're welcome. And as for you, Garrick, you and I need to have a long discussion. Seems you forgot to mention that Karema was under a Dominion blockade and in the middle of a Herc invasion. Do Cardassians go senile? Oh, don't answer that. I don't want to know. What I do know is that you're not paying me enough for this aggravation. Calm down, Quark. You're safe now. Set up the pattern enhancers in order to force you to lock and beam everyone out. All right. are leaving for now good luck with the revolution minister you'll need it you'll be hearing from me soon Garrick I'm looking forward to it you won't when you see my bill Now that we're past that unpleasantness, I think it's time we had a chat with Ambassador Odo, particularly about this technological wonder we've acquired. What is it, exactly? I have my suspicions, of course. Suffice it to say, I believe you'll find its purpose of great interest to all concerned parties. My main curiosity lies in what the Ambassador will have to say about it. I propose we get to the bottom of this together. Very well. Excellent. I'll make all of the necessary arrangements and meet you aboard Odo's flagship. Tread carefully. It's not wise to challenge a founder. Uh, so I have come to understand. Uh, that being said, I have a great deal of respect for the Ambassador. In the event that I cause offense, I trust you'll defend his honor in an appropriate fashion. Shall we proceed? I have a feeling that the founders are behind the Herc. Probably some kind of a device to call them in, I'd imagine. What is this? Stand down, all of you. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I hope you'll forgive the intrusion, Ambassador. We need to speak in person. What are you up to, Garrick? That's a very good question. What's this about, exactly? It's in regard to this device we found on Karema. Do you know what it is? No idea. Some new Karemin military tech, perhaps? Interesting. But no. The Karemins didn't make this. But it is a Dominion creation. And its purpose? I'm sure I have no idea, Ambassador. It does emit a signal, however. Yep. It's quite similar to that used by the Herc. Perhaps I should turn it on and show you? There's no need for that. I don't like where this is going, Garrick. Nor I, Captain. You see, I found a similar device. On Bajor. On Bajor? <clears throat> when? Right after the recent Herc attack, I'm afraid. Captain, scan the device. You'll find the soil residue on it is of Bajoran origin. It does. It's from the Kendra province. Well, th that doesn't mean that Odo... Enough, Nariz. I can't have you defending me on this. What? Garrick's right. These devices called the Herc, and we put them there. What? Explain. Now. We needed the Alliance's help immediately. There wasn't time for summits or diplomacy. <laughs> so I found a high-value target and led the Herc to it. I also took steps to make sure their attack would fail. Bajor was never at risk. You have to understand that. Heck yeah. 
You put my entire planet at risk. People died, Odo. Nerys! Save it. I've heard enough. Please, continue, Odo. You were saying? I did what I needed to do to bring the Alliance into the war. I lied. Risked the lives of millions to save billions more. But there's more to this than a staged Herc attack. The other Founders are hiding things from me. If I challenge them now, I'll have no chance to find out what. So, for now, I have to play the part. Well, you're doing a great job of that, Odo. Or, should I say, Founder. Trust me when I say I understand your position, Odo. The Captain, on the other hand... I know. I have a strong lead, but I'll need your help to move on it. You know how to reach me. It seems you are a gambler, Odo, and a high-stakes one at that. You have no idea. Huh. Well, that's rough. I still think that it's going to come out the Founders probably produce the Herc or something. I wouldn't be surprised. This is unexpected. The Founders have put useful allies at risk here. While the Karimin should be punished for their rebellion, they should also be given a chance to atone and return to the Dominion. It is not our place to question the will of the Founders, but a good soldier strives to know what he can do about the battlefield and the challenges it may present. Remain vigilant and keep me appraised. Victory is life. What are you thinking, Elder? Our gods keep their own counsel in the end. It is not our place to question them. And yet, we follow them because they have given us life. We pledge that life to them and earn it through our victories. But if a god's creations are valueless, why create them? And if they have value, why destroy them? Can a god be unworthy of worship? I do not know, Elder. So we're looking at a cultural rebellion within the Dominion. I trust you understand the need for security here. What you've heard today is not to be discussed with anyone else, understood? No one, not even another Founder. As you command, Founder. I'm surprised to see you here, Weyoun. Aren't you usually at your Founder's side, hanging on her every word? Excuse me? It is a message from said Founder that brings me here now. She would remind you of your purpose, to serve the Dominion as a whole. How kind of you to deliver the message in person. Thank you for your service. As for my service, the Ambassador shares his wisdom and guidance with me. Truly, he is a most benevolent god. Why should I not serve him? He is a founder, after all. Hello? Serve the founders, yes. But also serve them well. Do recall the fate of your predecessor. She thought she served the founders well, quite possibly to the moment her unfortunate life came to its conclusion. As we both know, she was greatly mistaken. <laughs> The same could be said for your predecessor as well, dear Weyoun. Have you forgotten his sins? I know the Founders haven't. I know you work directly for a Founder, but you should remember your place. It's very impolite to eavesdrop and interrupt a private conversation between your superiors. Perhaps you need a reminder of who provides your Catracel whites. Uh, apologies. Uh-huh. Quite the revelation, don't you think? It will be interesting to see how the powers that be respond to all this. For now, I think it's best to keep this in the purview of the diplomats. Let's return to our ships. There'll be more time to speak about this matter later. Indeed.
We have heard much today. The wisdom of the gods is not always evident to soldiers like ourselves, but I trust Founder Odo. I believe we should continue to serve him. He seeks to save the Dominion from the Herc, and he may well be our best hope in doing that. Speak of what you have learned today with no one, especially Wayun. I do not believe his intentions are always in the Dominion's best interests. Return to your duties. I will contact you when Founder Odo is ready to move forward with his plan. A couple of interesting turns in this story. All right. We're going to take the personal Karema Trader com code on this one. Remember Congratulations on the first life. All right. Well, folks, thank you for joining me. That was a fun episode. We're looking at 40 minutes on this one. Has something of interest in the Masan. I'll do that next time. All right. We have this com code. Well, guys, like I said, this has been a fun one. Thank you for joining me. We're starting to work on this Starship Mastery for this new ship. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in game. Come back and join me next time.